grand old partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I commemorate the Indiana People's Party. May 1854, Democrats passed the Kansas-Nebraska Act, a scheme to extend slavery into Western territories. Friends of Freedom were outraged. In the Hoosier State, former Congressman Henry Lane and other luminaries called for a convention. He wrote, quote, We must resist the encroachment of slavery if we would preserve the rights of freedom. July 13th, 10,000 people gathered in Indianapolis at the Capitol building. Though of various political views, they were united in opposition to slavery. The name Republican seemed too abolitionist at the time, so the name People's Party was chosen. This organization won nine of 11 congressional races. Lane chaired the 1856 Republican National Convention and soon the People's Party merged into the GOP. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.